Hey guys, it's Scott Leroy Marketing. <laughs> Sorry, it's Scott Leroy coming in for another weekly tip with Scott Leroy Marketing. You know, I've done this enough times. You think I'd be able to do it by now, but that's okay. <laughs> so, basically, what we're going to do today is actually talk about the KW app. All right. So, if there are a couple places where you can actually find this KW app URL, and if you're a newer agent, it's actually a little bit different than the normal location. So, let's talk about the normal location. If you're a previous agent, uh, the only thing I can see on here is that. If you're a previous agent before 2020, all right, so you signed up with KWRI, or not KWRI, but your KWR office, you know, in December of 2019 or before that, this is where you'll typically find the KWR app as of right now. So as of February 3rd, you can find this immediately by clicking on the plus sign next to my marketing, all right, in this eEdge control panel. All right, we're going to go the same route we've always gone down to manage eAgency website. So I always say, Look at that capital A under Manage E-Agency Website. Think of it as App, because that's going to be the main place for your app on here. Now, once we click on the Manage E-Agency Website section on here, all right, then we're going to click on 4.0 on the left-hand side and 4.5. All right, so for mobile property search on here. Now, if you're an agent, and this is kind of what I've, I've found out it looks like, is anyone that signed up with KWRI, or not KWRI, KW, I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. All right, before 2020, before the change happened where WolfNet was not the provider of the app anymore, all right, then this is where you can actually find that app URL. All right, and you'll probably want this, obviously, with a brand new app coming out very soon. All right, so as you can see, it's always going to be app.kw.com forward slash KW, and then some you know letters and numbers on here. So if I paste that inside up here inside my web browser, it's going to pop up with Lori Godfrey's app, much like it always has. Now, if you're an agent that came on after that, and this is not coming up properly, so you've gone through these steps, and it's showing instead of this, it's showing a 404 page saying that it's not available, try this instead, all right, because this is where the new app URL information is going to come from. And the end code, instead of being that code that was created on here under that 4.5 section, is actually going to be your KWU ID. All right, so if you're a brand new agent and the app is giving you that 404 message, try this instead. We're still going to use app.kw.com forward slash KW. All right, but then after the KW, we're going to get our KWU ID. That is found under the profile section on my KW. All right, so if I click on this profile option on here, All right, if it does take you to the white pages, no worries. Let me go ahead and search for myself in the white pages. So I'm going to search for Lori Godfrey on here. There we go. All right, your KWU ID is going to pop up near the top. All right, so right below that designation section. All right, so then this will be the actual information you'll need for the app code. So if you're a newer agent that started in 2020, try this instead, as this is more than likely going to work. All right, so as you can see, her app URL that we found in that 4.5 section is app.kdb.com forward slash kw and then her app code. So if you're a newer agent, take out that last part and put inside your KWU ID. Now, this is more than likely going to give her that 404 page. All right, so she's getting that because she had the previous app set up that she's utilizing. All right, but for newer agents, instead of using that 4.5 section where you would typically find the app information, it's now been changed, and you'll want to use this KWU ID instead. All right, so I just want to give you a heads up on there. So if you're a previous agent before 2020, you can still find your app information under that Manage eAgency website for the 4.5 section. But if you're a newer agent with KW and you need help finding it, please feel free to reach out. We can definitely help you out with that. All right, but it's going to come from that KWU ID that you can find in the white pages, all right, right below the designation. So the app is always going to start with app.kw.com forward slash kw, all right, and then you'll see it on here. And if you can see, there are a couple people we've helped out recently that have the little, obviously, kw ID added in. So I'm going to click on this one for Samantha Reese. As you can see on here, it's got the kw ID and it's working properly, all right? So that's how you can actually find this immediately. All right, so that's a little bit of a, an overview tip that'll help you out tremendously now that the new app is obviously coming out very soon for you guys. All right, so once again, remember, previous agents, you'll still be able to utilize the old URL. I don't know if that'll change in the near future or not. All right, but that'll be accessible under the Manage eAgency website section. And for brand new agents, just make sure you find your KWU ID 
under the profile section up here at the top left, right? And it's always going to be app.kw.com forward slash kw and then insert whatever it might be, whether it's going to be the code that's under the e-agency site for previous agents or the KWUID. So there you go. All right, so that is your KW Tech tip for the day.